So Scratch has a bunch of blocks having to do with sensing. So let's take a look at a couple of those and see uh, um, the equivalents in uh, Greenfoot in a minute. But um, one of the things we can do in um, in um, Scratch is test to see if the mouse is down. Now you'll notice this has kind of an interesting shape. It has these angles uh, on the sides and it says mouse down question mark. Um, the, the, um, and there are a couple other ones like that with question marks at the end and these angle brackets. Um, these are conditions and they, um, conditions go with, um, if statements. We want to check to see if something is true, if the mouse is down. Um, so let's find an if block. So here's an if block. Here's what an if block looks like. And you'll see next to the, in between the if and the word then, there's this shape that also has these angles um, on the side. So the um, any any condition, anything with these angle brackets, those are conditions, and they'll fit inside the, the if then. Um, and then let's say um, if the mouse is down, we want the cat to move. So let's go to motion, and let's move. Ten steps might be kind of fast. Let's make a move like three steps. Um, so we want to check to see if the mouse is down, and if it's down, then we'll move three steps. And we're going to run this um, forever, let's say. Um, actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? This is going to be the equivalent of our, our ACT method in... in uh, Greenfoot. So I'm going to make a block and call it act. This is going to be my, my act method. And then um, I'll, I'll run the act method forever. So this is like when we press the run button, we, we do the act forever, right? So um, let me click on this guy. And now I don't have my mouse down right now, but I have, you can see my arrow here is inside the screen. And if I click on my mouse, let's see, as long as I'm holding the mouse down, the cat will move. So let me just hold it down, I lift it up, he stops. Okay, because um, if the mouse is down, then he's going to move. If the mouse is not down, there's nothing for him to do. So he, he just stops. Okay. Um, we can do something similar to that in um, Java, or in, uh, in Greenfoot using Java. Um, but actually, before I get to, to Greenfoot, there's one other um, sensing um, thing I want to show you, because this, this is... Um, we've used an equivalent kind of thing. Let me shut everything off. We've used an equivalent kind of thing in uh, Greenfoot before. Notice there's this condition here that says um, key, and then there are different keys that you can look at. Uh, the space bar, the up arrow, the down arrow, left arrow, uh, the letters, and so on. Um, if the, if the key is pressed, so key question mark, so this can be our condition. If the key is pressed, if, if the, in this case the space bar, if the space bar is pressed, then we can do something. So I'm going to use that condition instead of the mouse down one. Let me get rid of this one. Um, and notice the, the shape, it's kind of hard to see probably on the video, but the shape of the um, space parameter here is a kind of is rounded on the end sees it because it's a it's a parameter so um so conditions can have parameters as well as 
um, you know, uh, other uh, blocks like this. Okay, but so if the space key is pressed, then we're going to move. So now let me uh, start this guy up. I'm going to run this forever. Now I'm over here, and if I hold down the space bar, he goes. If I stop the space bar, he stops. Okay. Um, so that's that's how it's done in Scratch. And then in the next video, we'll um, do the equivalent thing in uh, Greenfoot.